We have the reverse battle royal. Now, <laughs> it was said that the winner of this match would become the number one contender. I could have sworn they said that. Well, that got changed. This became a reverse battle royal where, first off, you had to fight to get into the ring. Once eight men were in the ring, it became a battle royal. And based on when you were eliminated, that seeded you into a tournament that starts on impact. So. Correct. What? <laughs> what did you win for winning this match? What did you gain by be- becoming the victor? The number one seed. Which means what? You wrestled James Storm. Which means what? Nothing. All of the seedings were equal. Correct. The winner did not get a buy in this tournament. The winner got nothing. So, to me, wouldn't it make sense that once you were in the final eight, you just jumped the fuck out so you didn't get hurt? Don't forget bragging rights. Oh, that's right. Mike Tanay added that. They were very very adamant there were bragging rights at stake. Bragging rights. So, the reverse Battle royal portion of this, the good news, the good news, is it was only about two to three minutes long. The bad news Everything was, else is the bad news. This was the worst two to three minutes of wrestling I've seen in 2007. For those of you that don't understand, they put 16 guys outside the ring, and you have to get in. You have to slide into the ring. Now, there's never a period where somebody is always beating on somebody else. There was always somebody standing there with the ring right in front of them, and they had to pretend like they couldn't get in. Yeah. <laughs> and my favorite was Sanjay. Poor Sanjay Dutt at one point looked around and realized there was no one, no one within 15 feet of him. So he leapt over the apron, he grabbed the ropes, he went to step through, and then he slipped and yes. fell to the floor and sold. Yes. Sanjay Dutt... <laughs> So clearly hates everything about TNA. <laughs> Can you blame him? But he just he just doesn't care. Yeah, he just does it's his so job. It's so clear from watching every interview, yes. every match, every, every skit. promo, everything he does, he is collecting a paycheck, and he doesn't yes. care. More power to him. Sure. And then there's all there, at least he did that. Other guys would just have the opportunity and not get in. Paul, let me ask you a question. Eric Young was just walking around the ring at one point, looking yeah. for something to do. Yeah. Paul, let me ask you a question. Shoot. When did you first start watching wrestling? Well? What was it about wrestling that caught your eye? Lucha Libre. Really? Yeah. Now, what was it about Lucha that caught your eye? Well? (laughs) I mean, was it the athleticism? Was it the masks? Was it the, uh, what was it about wrestling that impressed you? Was it like, boy, that's really cool? Just that physical ability to go out there. And... You were impressed. Yeah, I that's was what just I'm impressed. trying to get at. I mean, you were there's, blown away. There's words. There's words that that just. There's no words that can describe it. I guess. But so so you were you were uh, you were impressed to a degree you cannot put into words. No, exactly. Okay. All right. That's what I wanted to hear. So when you first started watching wrestling, you were impressed beyond words by what these men were able to do. Correct. Vinny, how did what did what impressed you about this wrestling? That as well as the personalities. So larger than life personalities. Yes. And and just it, it, these these crazy cool people. Maniacs like Randy Savage. Yes. Just men you'd never see. Correct. Okay. I saw the Ultimate Warrior, a superhero sized man beating up a a, a fatter man. Okay. Whatever. Okay. That's what got everybody hooked on this business. Why would you want to watch 16 guys who are so dumb that they can't figure out how to get into a ring? Is there anything less impressive than seeing men not being able to figure out how to get into a ring? (laughs) If the first thing you saw was a reverse battle royal and Sanjay Dutt tried to get in and then slipped... And on a fell, banana peel and hurt himself and fell out. Is there anything less impressive than this spectacle in the world of wrestling? I think someone trying to put a triangle block into a circular block. That's up there. You would never pay for that. 
You would not be hooked on such a thing. I hate the whole idea of this reverse battle royal and how stupid it makes everybody look. You forgot this one thing, too. Shark Boy, for this reverse battle royal, was wearing a neck brace. <laughs> yes! <laughs> There's an impressive physical specimen right there. So after this bullshit, and I have no other word for it. And we have spent, by the way, twice as long talking about it as it actually took place on the show. <laughs> It finally came down to eight men. Storm, Young, Hoyt, Kaz, Shelly, Saban, Rude, and Fatu. I should mention that the eight men who didn't make it in, is there a bigger group of eight losers on this earth? Why no? You guys are such failures. You couldn't find a way to get into the ring. They failed to climb into a ring. Have you ever, did you ever, Paul, on your first day of this business, have to learn how to get into the ring? Well, he didn't take that much. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't have a, a full session on how to get in the ring. No, he I... just sort of got in there. Yeah. What about Buddy's son, who's one? Has he ever had a problem getting in the ring? No, he just climbs right in. But yes, the ring apron <laughs> is above his head, and he gets in the ring. These eight fuckers couldn't find a way in. So then we had eight guys, and they proceeded to have an actual decent battle royal, per the standards of of battle royals, which are normally pretty bad. So uh, a lot of craziness and that sort of thing. And then it came down to Rude and Eric Young for bragging rights. And Eric Young pinned him with a small package. And the only news is that per the eliminations, we are going to get a match between Alex Shelley and Chris Saban, which is going to be great. Actually, I have more to say than that's Uh not the only news. First of all, yes, the world needed to see Eric Young and Bobby Rude one more time. Yeah. Now, when you say we're going to get Chris Saban versus Alex Shelley, what actually happened was Mike Tanay noted that he had taken very copious notes, <laughs> and to the best of his ability, he had calculated <laughs> that due to the seedings as a result of the battle royal after the reverse after the reverse battle royal, he thinks Chris Saban is going to wrestle Alex Shelley. So it's not confirmed. It is not confirmed, but he pointed out as part of the broadcast this segment was obscenely complicated and fucked up and a pain in the ass to keep track of. Yes, he took notes and he's not sure. He took notes, and it's his job, and he is still not sure. Yes. Yes. Think about that for a second. Now, let's assume that he's correct, and we're going to get Chris Saban versus Alex Shelley. Okay. I'm sure it'll be a fine match. Yeah. Who wants to see them wrestle each other? They're a tag team. We want to see the tag teams wrestle other tag teams. I'm actually fine with that because it'll be a good match. It will, in fact, be a good match. Damn it. <laughs> the, the, the machine guns come out, everyone loves them, and then they always just get punked in the end. Yeah. And now, now we're they have gu- to wrestle each other. We are guaranteed one of them is going to get punked again. Yeah. Yes. Paul, your thoughts on this reverse battle royal into a battle royal into a singles match for nothing? Yeah, so I, I, sure, I thought that Shelly and uh, Saban, man, they exactly, they got punked. <laughs> <laughs> exactly that. You know, they, they were looking really good, and then all of a sudden it just like they got shot into the... Shot into the ground. They are massively popular, and nobody ever does anything with them. This was the best thing on the show, and uh, the show was all downhill from there. So uh, I guess I can continue on. To uh, Dana Brooke beat Becky Lynch. Did I really see this? And that, my friends, is Monday Night Raw. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.